Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 69 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajo. Let me start out by thanking all of you who keep watching this channel and keep supporting it. When I started this channel a few years ago, I wouldn't have imagined this channel being above 800 subscribers. So thank you so much for watching and continuing the support of the channel. In Inter Calvajo, we have great news regarding the cornerstone player of this build, Tommaso Sanotti, because he's been marked as a prospect for the under-21 San Marino National team. He's marked as a central defender right now and I know that the offensive central defender is maybe not the most common player in the under 21 system so we'll have to see if he is being called up later during the coming season but it's certainly an indicator that we are moving in the right direction. Last Sunday we were playing the final match of the season away against the unknowns. We were quite lucky to take a 2-0 win in that match. If we look at the ratings we will see that we had a slim chance to score in the right sector but we ended up doing so twice and I've said this before to Steinhoy I'm sorry this isn't the first time we've been lucky against the unknowns sorry for that that means that in the league we did finish third as we hoped before the start of the season I must admit we've been quite solid at securing this third place for two seasons now I really hope that in the next season we can go beyond this third place perhaps start challenging for a second perhaps even a first place Charles Lancia will be playing a qualification match and if we look at that just briefly you'll see that Charles Lancia is actually ahead on the average TSI perhaps we'll see a new face in the division on Sunday let's move on to a scouts call it's been a while since we saw some really exciting so let's hope Bolini has something for us 15 years old a head specialist passable scoring Leo Greco I think we'll have to accept this guy 15 years 86 days all right and perhaps some playmaking Ooh, this is a good one in the senior training we did see one relevant pop and that was Francioni popping from formidable to outstanding a good start to the playmaking stint and we are also trying to make some quick profit of this guy Kosa during the coming week but we do see a market slowing down due to the end of the season and it's all a little interesting with all the HTAL players coming into the market relatively soon. I did update the sheet and I did mark Francioni's pop here just so we can establish a starting point going forward into the playmaking stint. I am unsure whether we will be able to keep Lemity and Plenowski at the moment because looking at the winger prices they are a bit unstable in this market and perhaps we'll have to sell at least one of them. I'm hoping that we can keep two of them to keep money out of the board reserves as I've told before but it's rather uncertain at the moment if I have to be completely honest about that prospect. As usual, this offseason we will be playing four consecutive games against the main team in Denmark. It's actually a very good opportunity to get some extra training in because we can engineer hopefully 120 minutes each match. It's also a very nice opportunity to get some extra minutes in while we are transitioning to playmaking training and making the most of those little skill traits that we are trying out. So I hope you guys have a chance to do something similar with your teams. Running over the youth players here, it's actually quite lucky that we found Leo Greco because we were running out of really interesting guys. And um, let's just check out when we're playing next. We're playing Ballspalverein update this uh, lineup because we've been promoting a few players recently and we should put him Greco in the middle of the park. And I think we will add Pelligioni down there as well to see if we can uh, get some playmaking for him as well. So we'll send those orders and then in the training we will go passing I think and we'll check see if there's some good playmaking potential for the new man. That's all for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the off season and I'll see you guys for next season once we've recharged our batteries and are ready to go at it again once more. Take care.